Welcome to my 1 to 99 at a time account. The account where we can only train one skill at a time until it is max, and only then are we allowed to transition to another skill. Today's skill is going to be a little different than what you might be used to on this series because it is not a skill that I can sit around and train whenever I want to. In fact, it's going to take months to get, but the XP per hour should be higher than we've seen anywhere on this account yet. That skill is farming. And as we always do, we're going to put 24 hours on the clock and see if we can get 99 before then. We will be planting only the best plants at each level, so I have a feeling we're going to crush through that time. But as you'll see, that doesn't come without its roadblocks. The starting bank looks like an absolute mess. I have almost every single tree the game has to offer in my bank, and I am only level 1 farming. I bought a lot of extras, but any trips to the GE once the timer starts is wasted time. The starting tab is 145 mil, so we'll know exactly how much we've spent from start to finish after we get 99. But unfortunately when it comes to this account, I can't just hit the ground running and start planting things. Well I guess I could, but that wouldn't be very efficient. I'm sure there's people out there thinking right now, oh, man I wish I had a nice pair of earbuds. Well. Let me tell you about the earbuds that look, feel, and sound amazing, the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. With Raycons, you can expect 8 hours of playtime with 32 hours of battery life, but long listening would be nothing without comfort, and that's where the optimized gel tips come in handy for that perfect in-ear fit. The earbuds are water resistant and sweat resistant, and not to mention there's even three listening profiles to best suit whatever it is you decide to listen to. Personally, my favorite uses of Raycon are to listen to music, talk on the phone, listen to podcasts while I'm out on a walk, and even while exercising, there is no worries about them ever falling out. There's just so many good things to say about Raycon. They even come in at around half the price to other premium earbuds, and there is over 50,000 five-star reviews. And I know there's going to be people interested in snagging themselves a pair of Raycons, and if you are, if you're interested, 15% off if you go to buyraycon.com slash rarg, or just click the link in the description. 15% off your purchase of Raycons. And a big shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. There were two major issues right off the bat. One was that I couldn't get access to the farming guild without having 60% Hosidius favor, and it's impossible to get Hosidius favor without getting farming XP which means I had to start the timer as I was gaining favor, and that of course eats into how fast I can get 99 farming. Our second problem was I needed at least 15 farming to start planting trees, and 27 farming to start planting fruit trees. I did not want to waste any time with low XP methods, so I hit up the drawing board and came up with the perfect plan. We're kicking off the farming grind with getting 60% Hosidious favor. It is absolutely crucial we have access to the farming guild, as several new tree spots become available when we hit certain level thresholds. So the timer is started, and we have to plow the fields to at least 5% favor. This is annoying enough for any account already as is, but I already hit the first issue. Normally when a plow breaks, you fix it with a hammer, but fixing it gives 10 crafting XP. And that would be a huge no-no for this account. In a fit of panic, I try hopping worlds, and to my relief, unbroken plows were available. After 13 minutes and still somehow being under 100 farming XP, we quickly scurry up north and move on to fertilizer, the fastest way to gain favor. All the needed ingredients were ready in the bank, 550 saltpeter and 550 buckets of compost to get us exactly to 60% Hosidious favor. The XP making fertilizer isn't great either, but it was much better than plowing. After all 550 were made, we managed to hit 10 farming, and 22 minutes after the start of getting our first farming XP drop, we hit that 60% favor. The main goal I had for myself was to go right to 30 farming. This would allow us to unlock willow trees, skipping oaks entirely, and get us past that 27 threshold for fruit trees. There is only one way to get it quick, and that's by completing the relatively new quest, Garden of Death. The good news is we don't get any unwanted XP in any other skills. The bad news is that I needed 20 farming. Thankfully, I had something in mind. The method is planting bag plants in your player-owned house. It's very effective for the extremely low levels of farming, and you get 31 XP per plant. The method does in fact give construction XP, but since we already achieved 99 construction, 
That skill is now unlocked and available to get XP in it whenever we choose to. It was super easy to bank and restock and less than 10 minutes later, 20 farming is achieved and we make a dash to complete the quest as fast as possible. In all honesty, this quest is very straightforward and fast for how much farming XP you get. I was a little worried about dying to the lizard men, but having 99 prayer finally has its perks. Thanks to the stamina potions and the runelike quest helper plugin, I did the quest insanely fast and went right from 20 to 30 farming. Now, the real farming can begin. It is time to plant trees all the way to 99. Unfortunately, since many quests and skills are still blocked off due to XP restrictions, I do need to change some things around. I will be unable to get to Letzia for the fruit tree patch, and I will be unable to get to Fossil Island for the hardwood tree patches, as these all require several skills I have not yet unlocked. Some of my traveling will also be slowed down because I don't have access to spirit trees and other certain teleports for the same reason, but those we can make do by using other methods. With just over 50 minutes into the skill, 30 farming is completed and the first round of trees are all planted. I will be planting the best tree I can plant at every single level with no worry about expenses. Cost is not an issue and we are strictly going for speed. I will be doing two farm runs a day until 99 is achieved, one in the morning which consists of a tree run and a fruit tree run, and then one in the afternoon which just consists of a tree run. Oh my god, I did not just die. I did- I literally have prayer. I literally have prayer as well. Just over three hours into the skill, 65 farming is achieved, and we unlock our first new patch. This unlocks the intermediate wing of the farming guild, providing both a new tree patch and access to Hispori, but unfortunately, as level 3, Hispori will be off limits. I'm not too bothered about this though, as it would take time to kill even if I had the stats to do so, and that eats into my XP per hour. When dealing with the XP rates for farming, they can get a bit tricky. Technically, the fastest way to peak your XP per hour would be to plant only your best tree, log out, and just stick to that one patch. That negates all running and keeps you logged in for only seconds with a hefty XP drop. Of course, this would take an extremely long time to get 99, but your XP per hour would be insane, getting 99 in just a few hours. And to put this into perspective, this would take 283 days to go from 75 to 99, planting just one magic tree in one patch, assuming you planted a new one every 8 hours on the dot. And magics aren't even the best trees. Doing redwoods only from 90 to 99, only logging in every 4.5 days for 22k XP for max XP per hour, would take you over 4 years to get that. But hey, at least you got 99 farming in like an hour in in-game time. On our way to 99, there are quite a few more tree patch unlocks that will help increase the XP per day. Only a little more than 30 minutes after 65, 72 is achieved, which unlocks the Calquat patch. This patch is something everyone should be doing on their farm run, it gives 12.5k XP, and the sapling only costs 500 GP. To protect it, 8 poison ivy berries will only run you 440 GP, making it extremely cheap farming XP. 27 minutes later, and I am already doing my first magic tree run at 75 farming. The best wood tree I am able to plant. A short while later, and less than 4 hours into the skill, I also unlock the best fruit tree plant there is, dragon fruit trees at 81 farming. The XP rates we're getting now are intense. Magic trees give nearly 14k farming XP, and dragon fruit trees give over 17k XP. But the upgrades don't stop there. 85 farming is achieved 30 minutes later, unlocking a new fruit tree patch, as well as a Celastris tree, which both together will add an extra 31k XP per farm run. At 90 farming, we get our last tree unlocked. We can now plant a redwood tree, a whopping 22k per harvest. It takes four and a half days to grow. We are now set to get the maximum XP this account can get. We are cruising through these levels. We knew from the start that we would crush the 24 hour goal, but let's change that. Can we get it in under 10 hours? 
to hit that goal, we have to get 90 to 99 in under four and a half hours of in-game time. After 9 hours and 40 minutes of strictly in-game time, 99 farming is achieved and our goal of doing it in under 10 hours is done. Our bank tab ended with 35.4 mil left, so after all is said and done, our total expenses were 109.6 mil. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider watching the other videos I have on the series where I try to get other 99s as fast as possible. Make sure to subscribe and help me reach my goal of 120k. If this video gets 4k likes, I will start my next 99. If you have a specific skill in mind, comment it down below and be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, all right, all right. Just because I got 99 twice it again, you have to rub it in. <laughs> like, you, you, even this guy's got the fucking beaver. I bet, I, bet he, I bet he got that from fucking farming as well. And I just unlocked... Songs. I've never been in Drainer on this account. This account is so niche. This account is so niche.